Welcome to a very special holiday edition. Whoa! I want to read that. Joining us again this week is the second greatest Canadian football player I've ever met, Mr. Tillman. Hey, Mr. Wasco! Good to see you! You excited about this week, Mr. Tillman? I can't wait to hear more about those books! I know that's not Mr. Tillman. I'm not crazy. I asked him to come back and he said no. He said he had more important things to do. I don't know what's more important than hearing about books and the education of children. Wow, you really have an unrealistic idea of how important these videos are, huh? Status, Brenda. It seems like it was just yesterday. I sometimes see you pass outside my door. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your smile. Wait a minute. I could just use last week's footage and pretend he's still here. What's up, Mr. Wasco? Aren't I the greatest teacher of all time? Yes. Have you ever eaten moldy bread? Yes. What's the name of your favorite band from the 80s? Yes. Have you always had a secret desire to become a figure skater? Yes. Anyway, this week I thought it would be awesome if I could share some recommendations for some gift ideas for the holidays. Because you know what? Coming up soon, you got Christmas, you got Hanukkah, you got Kwanzaa. Hashtag Chris Mahana Therefore, you parents out there, you need to know what to get for your kids. Because you want them to learn. And books are awesome. Right, kids? <laughs> exactly. Plus, students, if your parents are going to buy you books, they might as well get you books that you like. And not just, you know, like War and Peace, or a driver's manual, a biography on Mr. Tillman. It would be a terrible gift, right, Mr. Tillman? Yes. So how about this? Let's start with gifts you could get your kid if they won't stop reading Diary of a Wimpy Kid for the 98th time. There's tons of books that are similar to Diary of a Wimpy Kid, but more challenging. Yes. Because let's face it, Diary of a Wimpy Kid equals a comic book. Nothing wrong with comic books. I love comic books. However, so first things first, I can't stress enough how awesome the books of Tom Engelberger are. Plus how cool his last name is. Engelberger. It's better than Angle Sandwich. Hashtag Angle Sandwich. Angle Sandwich? Hashtag Angle Sandwich. He's responsible for the Origami Yoda series, which keeps multiplying and multiplying year after year after year. I think there's like 19 of these things now. The first one was called The Strange Case of Origami Yoda. And it's written from a kid's perspective, and it's like a journal, just like Diary of a Wimpy Kid, except that there's way more writing in it and way less doodles. So it's less comic book, more of an actual chapter book, and there's a mystery that they're trying to solve. Plus, if your kids love Star Wars, I don't know how Tom Engel Sandwich got away with writing about Star Wars, but good for him. So Diary of a Wimpy Kid, try the Origami Yoda series. Awesome! Another book by Tom Engelberger is Fake Mustache. Fake Mustache is a hilarious book. Yes. It's all about this boy Casper who buys the world's most convincing mustache and becomes Fako Mustacho. And he basically starts to rule the world. And it's up to Lenny, Casper's ex-best friend, to reveal who he truly is. Kids love this book. It's funny. Speaking of funny, Yet another awesome book that has illustrations, is more of a chapter book, and is really, really fun to read. My Big Fat Zombie Goldfish. I guess we're still milking off of my Big Fat Greek Wedding from over 10 years ago. All right, anywho, My Big Fat Zombie Goldfish, not Big Fat Greek Wedding, is really hilarious. And it has tons of wonderful illustrations, and it's all about zombies, and science experiments, and getting back at your older brother, and who can't relate to that. My brother used to sit on me growing up. Like, a lot. Like, all the time. Until I pushed him down the stairs, and then he sat on me again. Note to self, push Mark down the stairs again. He's over 40 now, therefore he's brittle. Hey, Mr. Tillman, can I push you down the stairs? Yes. 
Can I push you down the stairs tomorrow? Yes. Now, if it's less of the humor that your kid is looking for, more of the comic book, I also highly recommend Malice by Chris Wooding. Now look at this. This is literally the second copy of this book I own, and I've had to do book plastic surgery to it. Look, I can see you through the binding of the book. That's how popular this book is, because kids take it, put it in their backpack, and then it ends up looking like this. Unless they're using it as a football, and then stop using it as a football. Malice is a creepy fantasy book about kids that are sucked into a comic book, where they have to face tall Jake, the villain of the comic book. It's creepy, it's scary, but it also includes uh, pages that are illustrated, that are just straight up graphic novel. So to quickly review, if your kids like hilarious books that have some illustrations, that are quick reads, but they're still, to some degree, more challenging than Diary of a Wimpy Kid, I absolutely recommend the books of Tom Engelberger, that's Fake Mustache and the Origami Yoda series, as well as my Big Fat Zombie Goldfish, which has a sequel. Sequel. Get it? <laughs> I, I didn't laugh at that either. So there you have it. This has been part one of my holiday gift idea, Jamboree co-hosted by Mr. Tillman. Isn't that right, Mr. Tillman? No. Have you ever licked your own feet, Mr. Tillman? Yes. This guy. Stay tuned till next week. We delve into even more books your kids don't know that they want to read, although they probably should because they're really good and they will like them. Bye. for less seriously I'm getting a call from West Virginia I don't I don't live in West Virginia and yes that is the doctor thing hang up on you I probably owe money <laughs>